Bonjour, bonjour, my name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. We're doing another code video. And in this video, I will teach you how to add this, which is a continue shopping link on your card page. This way, when people are like, eh, my card, I want to check out, or maybe I want to spend even more money with you. All right, you get the point below in the description. There is a link towards a document with the exact code snippets that we will be copy and pasting. I will show you everything step by step on how to do it, including some of the styling uh, and how to achieve this. And as always, if this video is helpful to you, please, it would mean the world if you could subscribe and check out my other videos about coding, app reviews, and strategy, all Shopify and entrepreneurship related. All right, enough talking. Let's just jump straight up into our store. And when you log in, to the store you will see obviously here this is our lovely little demo store here but first let me show you I'm not bamboozling you and so we are going to show how it currently looks we open up the store oh there is already something in the cart look at that um, there is no way for me to continue shopping but I want to spend more money uh, let's remove this so you get the point um, let's try it one more time add to cart view card oh i can continue shopping here though it's already there but i can't continue shopping here so we're about to change that all right let's get started in order to change this you go to online store right here and as i say in every of my coding videos but every time there is at least one person who messes it up make sure to duplicate your team back up your team so if you make any mistakes you can just refer to the backup version of it so we're going to do that by clicking actions right here and then click on duplicate the team is duplicating, so it takes about a second, and we are going to be working right here. So this will not affect any of our live visitors. In case we do a mess up or in case we do something wrong, we can just, it's not going to affect our live version of the store. So we wait a second right here. All right, now that the duplication is done, we're going to go into the code and for that we're going to click on actions and we're going to click on edit code. Now that we are in the code, so welcome to the code editor, we're going to go to the section directory right here and we're going to look for cart-template. So it should be uh, alphabetically. So right here, card dash template. If you do not have a section directory, you can look at the uh, cart template right here in your template sec directory. All right, anyway, we're going to do the section ones because we have a section section directory. So in the section directory, we click on cart dash template. And here we're going to paste the code that is provided in the link below. Uh, you have multiple options, code that goes back to your collection page, your home page, a specific product page. It's kind of up to you what type of code you wanna paste in there. And it's also kind of up to you where on the checkout page you want this code to appear. On the cart page, I'm sorry, not on the checkout page. Checkout pages are only modifiable when you're Shopify Plus. This is about the cart page. So I suggest we put it right after the checkout button. For that, I'm going to do Command F on Mac, Control F on a Windows, and I'm going to look for checkout. And that's not how you write checkout, Andrew. Check, checkout, there we go. Uh, input type submit. This looks like we're getting close. So this is, uh, the button is right here. All right, now we have found the checkout. So there's multiple ones, and this is really going to depend on the team, but you're looking for something that has an input type is equal to submit, button, the name is equal to checkout. See, this is not what we're looking for. This is just um, another snippet. It's referring to something completely different. It's more something like an input or a button that we're looking for with a specific name is equal to or ID is equal to checkout. So we go after that section. So you see this, this right here is a block of code. We can go right after that, or we can go after here, and then we paste in the link, for example, that goes to the collection page. There's different links that I provided in the snippet below, so it's kind of up to you. Um, and we're just going to paste this right here. We save it. In the document below, there's also a piece of code that lets the user go back to the last collection they viewed, so that might also be useful for you. Okay, so once it is saved, we can actually go and check it out what it looks like. Uh, remember, we did not work on this team, we worked on this team right here. So we click preview. 
uh, we can go to the cart page right here. So here you go. And when you click on it, it works. Now a small little detail, if you, you are done right now besides the styling, so we're gonna work on the styling in just a second, uh, we're done if this link is supposed to go to the collection page or the home page. If you chose for the link to go to the last collection page visited by your site user, then you need to add a little extra piece of code into the team.template. Uh, file of your code. Just follow the instructions down below. I'm assuming the vast majority of people will just click the home page or the collection page as an option for their store visitors. In that case, you're done. This goes to the collection page. If you want it to go to the last visited collection, there is an extra step that's detailed in the description. Okay, but as mentioned, I don't really like the styling of this right now. So let's change that right now. This is a bit tricky. So it's going to be geared to mostly the people with a free theme. The the reason why is that the free theme all use the same class in order to uh, style their buttons because at the end of the day we want this to be a button. So we can just use that existing styling class. It's of course a bit different with the pay theme so I can't really generalize. Um, just what I'll walk you through it and maybe this applies to your theme as well. So you have primary buttons and secondary buttons, uh, the styles of it. So I think the primary button in this case is a uh, this blue greenish and secondary buttons uh, are yellow I believe on my specific site you can change that in the customizer but let's say I want to do the secondary button I'm going to go into the document copy and paste the code that applies to me that's clearly explained then I'm going to go back into the online store I'm going to click actions edit code, remember to do it on the version that we have already worked on, not on the live version. And then basically we go back to where we were and we slightly change the code that we pasted before to have the correct um, class. So I think we pasted it uh, around command F on Mac, control F on uh, Windows, check out. Okay, so right here we see what I've pasted before of the simple continue shopping link. There is no styling applied to it, so let's change that. So I'm going to remove this right here. And I'm currently using the debut theme. So if I scroll down on the document that I provided, um, you will see that there is a specific code snippet you can add to apply styling to it if you use anything other than the supply theme. So it's... Um, I'm gonna copy and paste it, put it at the exact same spot right here, paste. This is saying, okay, we're gonna put a, a button that goes to the collection dash all. It's going, the button is going to be called continue shopping and apply the styling of the secondary button of the website to it. So we can save it right here. Now let's go look what, uh, what it looks like. So we go to the online store copy of debut team we do actions and we click on preview i already have an element in the cart so i just have to click on it and right here continue shopping it has been styled in the typical uh, secondary button style that i can change in my customizer right here so um that's pretty much exactly what i wanted now, um, maybe one thing that is left is I want to put this live because I like how it works. Let's actually check that it works to make 100% sure. Yep, it goes to my collection page. So I'm done with it. I just want to put it live so my visitors can also see it. And for that, I'm going to click action and I'm going to click publish. It's going to ask me, are you sure you want to publish? I'm absolutely sure. We click publish. And we should be good to go. Let's just confirm that. Look at the live version of our store. And if I look at my cart, there is a continued sh shopping button right under the checkout. And that way my visitors can keep spending money with me even when they're on the checkout. And that's exactly what I want. I hope this video has been useful to you. I make more coding videos of all types. I also make app reviews, strategy videos, and make sure to check your store speed on testmystorespeed.com. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. I love you all and I see you in another video. Adios!